Guardians. Mr. B coming back at you with some more Destiny gameplay. Today's topic is going to be about the Taken King. So what we're going to talk about is Taken King, obviously, guys. In the background, we have some gameplay on the map Frontier, which is a new Taken King map. We're also, also playing the new game mode Rift. I actually am starting to really enjoy this. So the basics of this game is you have to pick up this thing that charges like I was trying to there before I got snipered. And you have to go slam it into the opponent's like home base basically. Um, it's handy if you work as a team. So if you've got a fire team of three or even six of you to play the PvP then it works really well. As you can, as you're gonna see, guys, my team, my two guys that I was playing with, protecting my ass, so I could score. I think you'll see that on this one. You can see the green dots; they're all coming towards me. They're all coming for me. And here I go. They protected me, and now I'm gonna slam it home and kill everyone in the area. Boom, baby. You've ignited the Rift Guardian. So basically, Taken King, guys, we're to, I'm going to talk about what I don't like and what I do like. We're going to talk about what I, don't, uh, what I like first, because there's lots of it. So I like the fact that they've brought in quests to keep everything going. It seems like every time you go to the tower, there's a new quest for you to take. Uh, I like the quests being old and new, so you're doing the old missions, but they've changed it around a bit. So it's it's changed it up, it's got it fresh for you again. It's just really enjoyable to play. Uh, some of them are, are really challenging. I mean, there's I mean the new new setting for the new maps is called the Dreadnought, and if you don't like heights, you're not going to get on very well with the Dreadnought. Uh, the the um, the PvP PvP side of it, um, yeah, is okay. I enjoy it every now and again. I couldn't play it constantly because the specials are so overpowered. Uh, I mean, the the three that they brought in: bow and arrow for the hunter, Titan hammer, but let's call it the Thor hammer for the Titan. And uh, um, Raiden's abilities for the Warlock out of Street Fighter. They're all very good. They're all. Uh, I love using. Uh, at the moment, I've only used the Warlock. Um, yeah, the Warlock, the Raiden abilities. But I do have the other two characters, and I need to start leveling them up at some point. Uh, I also like the fact that they've brought in a weekly, well, a strike playlist instead of the weekly missions that you used to have to do. Um, they've also brought the changes to the Nightfall have made it ten times harder, so more challenging, and I actually quite enjoy doing that. Um, the... Raid, well, I'll talk about the raid in a minute because I'm only just starting to do the raid. Boom! You've ignited the Rift Guardian. Oh, golden gun just turned around, motherfucker. I'll have you next time. The, um, so you've got the PvP side of it, you've got the Dreadnought as the new thing, you've got the quests. The new bounty system where you can just cash it in immediately when you've got it when you've done them, I really like. What is uh, what I don't like is the fact that the dart below, which was the second second uh, map pack, the second DLC, should we call it? It's basically no House of Wolves. Sorry, House of Wolves has basically become null void. It feels like a, a time gap filler. Which is rather annoying, guys. Um, tell me what you think about the Taken King. I actually love the raid. I'll do another video on the raid. Uh, see you next time, guys.